Welcome back, my name is Michael and today we're talking about how Scarlett Johansson juggles staying in shape for her role of the Black Widow while raising a daughter and how you can do the same thing at home. The schedule for any mother can be a hectic one and for Johansson who likes to be hands on in raising her daughter, her life is no different. She says that time is one of her biggest struggles. So how does she do it? And how can you maintain a healthy lifestyle that will get you into amazing shape while also being there for your family? Let's first talk about her attitude toward fitness. Scarlett doesn't focus on weight loss or body fat percentage. Rather, her goal is simply performance and how she fits into her costume. I freaking love this outlook. Way too many people are hyper-focused on what the scale reads on a daily basis. And if you don't understand body weight fluctuations, the scale can be very misleading. Using the mirror or how your clothes fit can be a great tool to check progress. Now that we know where to focus our attention, let's focus on the practical side of things, the workouts. The Black Widow character Johansson plays is supposed to be able to lift 500 pounds. Now, Scarlett herself isn't about to do this, but in order to emulate it, her trainer has her doing a series of strength building exercises, including deadlifts, pull-ups, pistol squats, and weighted push-ups. If you have a gym available, you're set. But if you don't, you're not out of luck. If you're at home, here's what you do. For the deadlifts, which target mostly the back and the legs, you can simply grab a couple dumbbells or a resistance band. If you don't have any of that available, then single leg deadlifts are your friend. Just make sure your movements are slow and controlled, increasing that time under tension. For the pull-ups, which target your back and biceps, the best option is to buy a sturdy pull-up bar for about 40 bucks on Amazon. Get the one that latches into your doorway, not the one that uses outward pressure. Those can slip out a little too easily and I find them to be a little risky. If a pull-up bar isn't an option, then grab a large blanket, tie a knot in the middle, throw it over your door and shut it. This will anchor it in place and you can now perform body weight rows that will hit the back as well. For the pistol squats, which obviously target the legs, no equipment is required, but they can be a tough exercise and require a decent amount of leg strength and balance. Feel free to use a counter or chair for balance, but try to keep all your weight on the leg as much as possible. If the pistol squats are still too hard, then split squats or everyday lunges work just fine until you feel comfortable with the pistol squat. Push-ups targeting the upper body and core also need no equipment. Johansson does perform them weighted, so if you have a gym, then grab a plate, throw it on your back, and call it a day. Otherwise, I like to grab a backpack and fill it with anything heavy that won't break, strap it on, and you're good. If weighted push-ups are too hard, then body weight is just fine and you can even perform them on your knees if you're new to the push-up world. Now make no mistake about it, the Black Widow herself must commit the time it takes to get and stay in shape. At the end of the day, you need to ask yourself, how important is it to you? Because if it's important enough, you'll make the time. Johansson does 45 to 60 minute workouts starting at 6 a.m. before her daughter even wakes up just to give herself enough time so that later she can make dinner and be there for her daughter later at night. You don't necessarily have to do the same thing, but this is just an example of the level of commitment it can take when fitness and health becomes important to you. But here's something you can do when you're on a time crunch. Scarlett Johansson does a decent amount of plyometrics to keep her ready for her stunt work on set. I love plyometrics because it gives you a big bang for your buck, implementing both strength and cardio. This includes all sorts of explosive jumping exercises like squat jumps, lateral high knees, alternating split squats, in the exercise we all love to hate, burpees. Now I'm sure you're wondering about cardio. Like myself, the Black Widow isn't a big fan of old fashioned cardio like jogging or running. Instead, she opts for sprints, battle ropes, and kettlebell exercises, which also implement both cardio and strength. Ever since she had her daughter, she's put a lot of focus on her core as well. Here's a routine you can use that will rock your core hard regardless of your skill level. You're never gonna make it, you're not good enough. There's a million other people with the same stuff. Do what they think you're different than you must be kidding. Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get it. It's impossible, it's not probable, you're responsible. Too many obstacles, you gotta stop it though. You gotta take it slow, you can't be a prey, don't waste your time no more. Who the fuck are you to tell me what to do? I don't give a damn if you say you disapprove. I'm gonna make my move, I'm gonna make it soon. And I'll do it cause that's what I'm gonna fucking do. Cause all these opinions and all these positions, they come in the millions, they fucking your face. 
Now the most important part that I always say for last and talk about in pretty much every single one of my videos, the diet, which Johansson has in check and knows that without it, all her hard work will go unrewarded. She practices a version of intermittent fasting, not the 16-8 method that's become quite popular, but a simple 12-12 method where if her last meal is at 9 p.m., then she doesn't have her next meal until 12 hours later at 9 a.m. As someone who practices intermittent fasting myself, I have to argue that intermittent fasting doesn't have any miraculous fat burning effects. It's simply a convenient way to control calorie intake. Her food choices here are a big part of what actually matters and consists of mostly lean meats, complex carbs, and healthy fats. You'll see things on her menu like egg whites, whole eggs, chicken breast, turkey breast, fish, protein powder, oats, toast, English muffins, rice, fruit, peanut butter, avocado, olive oil, and coconut oil. She tends to slightly increase your carb intake on her high intensity and strength training days. Your menu doesn't need to look exactly like this to look like her, but this is a great foundation to start. And that's a big thing to keep in mind. None of this has to be performed perfectly. It just needs to be done consistently. Scarlett Johansson doesn't only live like this when she's preparing for her movie. She might go a little harder during those times, but her exercise and nutrition is something she includes in her life regularly. If you can't perform all the exercises I've shown you here or perfectly stick to a diet, it's okay. Do the best you can and work on ways to integrate it and keep it in your life. Part of the process is learning what works and what doesn't work for you. You'll continue to get better and stronger. It's just part of the journey. I know it's hard sometimes, but try and let go of being results oriented because if you stick with it, the results will come. I hope you were able to gain a little something from this video. If you did, give that like button a little pokey poke. It really, really, really does help YouTube know to show it to other people who might be interested. And if you wanna have more fun learning about fat loss, fitness, and food, then consider subscribing. Until then, I'll see you in the next one.